Welcome back, as plays Diablo 3, of course, as you can tell. Playing my monk today. I have a demon hunter level 60, but I'm not too keen on playing him. He's just too much cutting, too much annoyance. Uh, but uh, I definitely love the monk, and I got a nice little spec here I'm actually going to share with you guys uh, for anybody interested in starting a monk. But at the same time, feel free to give me your comments on your experiences with monks, because, well, I have two different specs, I may as well say. This is my pure DPS one, and I absolutely adore it. Uh, as you can see, I'm level 56, and I have... Uh, basically focusing on life's life per hit on this guy uh, you know he has 1208 uh, with with other items I get up to over 1500 so it, it's just more than enough uh, so I'm having fun with that but basically this is my damage increase spec everything in one way whether it's defensive also has an offensive output at the same time so like with my follower for example he's using hysteria for 10% extra damage my uh, heal gives me 15% extra damage my deadly Reach gives me 80% extra damage. Uh, I use the 48% Mantra of Conviction rune, and I think I might switch to Submission afterwards for an additional 20% weapon damage uh, per second, so it's consistent and I don't have to constantly spam it. But at the same time, my Spirit uh, Spent Life Heal thing, it's basically what I use on that. And then I use seven sided, uh, seven sided strike, and that's so it's so amazing to use that when you have all the buffs up, like when you have literally. And uh, for my passives, I'm using combination strike, so I could use, you know, uh, I could use start with deadly reach to get the 18%, then I could switch to my wave of the thunder to get some extra damage to increase the combination strike. I have faster cooldown, so I'm able to use uh, my serenity more often, which basically is just the one with the AOE uh, explosion after its duration, which I like. So it's really, really fun to get all those damage increases up, and then just boom, seven-sided, and otherwise I'm just using my blue attacks, which I find compared to the Demon Hunter, they're, you know, the Demon Hunter's hatred regeneration attacks, compared to those, these ones are pretty much main nukes, or able to be main nukes. So let's just go play around a bit. I uh, just finished kind of setting up my follower because I have been playing with other people, uh, I'm on MP10, and I've leveled all the way on MP10, and I must say I absolutely love that addition to the game. Definitely revived the game for me. Um, you know, that's something I like to see in RPGs. You get to the end of the game, what does the end game content leave you with? I like to have that grindable aspect. I mean, it's still missing quite a bit of events and, and things that you could do to really have fun with, uh, or more fun, rather, with what you're doing, but you know, whatever. It's still great. I mean, I'm just robble stomping these guys. Oh, quite an enemy indeed. Alright, so let's see how effective this is. I got all my life heal and shit. Oh, woohoo, that was close. Oh, yeah, I'm loving it. Loving it. Alright, let's not get exploded on. There you go. So that's pretty awesome. And this is my pure DPS spec. However, I am starting to buy my gear for the tanking is what I'm basically going to be doing later on. I just don't want to be in the same position that I was on with my Demon Hunter where I'm basically one shot dead, one shot dead, one shot dead. It's just very annoying. You know, the only thing I'm capable of surviving with my Demon Hunter is minor attacks and it's just a pain in the ass. And, and uh, well, to be honest, I haven't really... I, I quit playing... For about four months, I think, a little bit before I started my YouTube channel, and uh, so now I've seen I've seen upgrades for my Demon Hunter that probably cost less than ten thousand gold. <laughs> it's pretty sad, but I quit just whenever they implemented higher quality drops. Uh, so now that there's a ton of those on the auction house and the price has gone down for the most part, uh, we're seeing. Some oh, I better be careful here. Oh, yeah. Ooh, fighting against arcane beams and I'm still not dying. That's some badass life feel. Love it. 25% attack speed. Yes, sir. All right. I suppose I'll pick up some of these items. So that's pretty much all I wanted to share today. Uh, I'm loving this monk. I just upgraded to this weapon. And uh, anybody who's starting to play, one thing I'm going to tell you, when you get to level 45, you know, you know what? Uh, your best bet is to search for weapons that have level reduction on them. Because you get level 60 weapons at level 45. You just search for reduce. Uh, you make sure you're at your level range is at uh, 45 to 60. Don't make your top cap 45. Okay. Obviously, I'm in the wrong spot here. 
Yeah, and then, you know, reduce level requirement. Check out the 15 whenever you're at 45, and you could get yourself a really, really nice upgrade. I'm talking about from going between 80 to 100 weapon DPS to 700 easily. 800 even. 850. And they're pretty cheap. I found one, this one in particular, 851 DPS with 800 life steal and 198 dexterity was 10,000 gold. Now that's a little bit underpriced, to be honest, but I'm not complaining. You know what I mean? So I was pretty happy to find that one. I am just ripping through these guys on MP10. Now, uh, obviously, I'm still in hell, so that would be the explanation of why I'm raping face. But uh, I am pleased to say that uh, I think I'm going to be all right even going into uh, Inferno, which is where I'm going to start specking more defensively. Uh, I am going for physical defense, physical resistance rather, on my gear, and that just makes it a little bit easier for, uh, what, what's that, the passive called, one with everything, you know, highest resistance is what all resistances gain, so if you have a maximum, a high physical resistance, then all your other resistances will gain that amount, or be equal to that amount, rather. And right... Seven-sided strike is amazing, absolutely amazing. So share with me some of your specs in the comments below. Let me know what you like to use. I I've used many other specs, and by I love them all. But this one I just really, really love, especially with your followers hysteria for the extra 10% damage on top of everything. Uh, I will switch Exalted Soul with uh, Guided Light whenever I'm playing with another player. That way, my direct heals will give me an additional 16%, and it just really, really is awesome. So as you can see here, I have. 25,000 damage, uh, well you might not be able to see it because it's crappy quality video for this because it doesn't run as well on my computer as other games do, but uh, yeah, 25,000 damage, uh, it's base of 19,000 or so, once you add the mantra and the breath of heaven and the other things, you'll see it quickly go up to about 30,000, and then with all that 7-sided, I've seen 7-sided seven seven strike hit for like 100k per hit on that, so that's just freaking awesome. Ah, fuck it, let's kill them all. Look at that, just instant kill attack. This attack kills everything. So I'm gonna love to see how that plays in effect as I get more level 60 gear. That's gonna be pretty amazing. Nope, whoops, that's what happened. Monks are uh, the best. Who's the best of us? The best. Quite a bit right here. Alright, let's go take these fuckers down. Hey! Oh! Whoa, that was close. So you can see, I just constantly reapply my mantra for the extra 28% damage or 24% damage. And that is pretty much makes my blue attacks just rape all the face in the world. Alright. Well, I'm going to leave you with that, guys. Once again, I'm MagusX, follow Tile Gamer. Go ahead and subscribe if you'd like to see more content of this. I also play Minecraft at times. Got some more episodes coming out for that uh, shortly. Uh, if I were to switch to full defensive, like these guys wouldn't even be able to touch me with how my life feels. So, I'm not too worried. And 7 side strike. Bye-bye! <laughs>